So I did a video a while back on some LEDs that I said uh, you might not have seen before. Uh, they were uh, they were these LEDs and uh, these are automotive LEDs. And at the time, I described the way that they were they were constructed. They have these little uh, metal tabs on them, and I said uh, that was for spot welding uh, to uh, to the other parts of the circuit. You didn't you didn't solder them. You you, you spot welded them. And uh, my friend corrected me and said, no, that's not actually the way that they work. Um, and so he lent me <laughs> his prized possession, uh, a couple of them. Uh, let's, let's show you this one first because it photographs easier. Uh, there are these LEDs that I've just shown. Is that all the zooming? Yeah, that's all the zoom that I can do. And they are attached to this metal frame here. And it does look like they're spot welded on. But on closer inspection, you can see that they're actually not spot welded. Um, I don't know exactly what process this would be called, but it, it's, it's, it's two pieces and then you dimple them together. And one metal deforms into the other metal and it just holds. And so it's, it's not spot welded, but it is crimped together and it holds. So there's some, some magic that goes on there. And uh, a friend of his invented this way of doing things. And so he worked on the program uh, for the automotive industry to, to, to put these in the automotive industry, design these uh, frames and stuff. So this one happens to be, um, uh, the company uh, was called LumiLeds. And uh, this particular one, I'm not sure what car this went into, but it, but on the thing here it says uh, tail light and stop light. So cars are always 12 volts, so I just put 12 volts on it. It seems to work. So if I put 12 volts on the uh, tail light here, then I, I get a uh, I get a red I get a red glow. Okay, and then if I move it over to stop, it's brighter. Okay, so here's. Here's the difference between the two. So one's like a running light and one's like the stop light. Uh, so uh, there's different different resistors on the back for different currents. And then there's, there's some diode switching here. So you can have both the tail light and the turn light down at the same time, I think. And anyway, um, that was the uh, this this dimpled technology is the is the cool part. And then this one has a little board on it. Now uh, he said, you know, these were used. Uh, for fancy like tail light sections and stuff and uh, So he gave me this which I believe is a test piece Where they were trying out this method and they tried different uh, Patterns and stuff. So these were to be made uh, flat and then bent up into the final shape and so you can imagine you might be fold these things into a curve or into into other things um, obviously, these are tests because if you take a look at this set of LEDs, they're all crimped onto a single sheet of, of a steel and um, it's all shorted out, so they wouldn't have worked. But to these, you can see there's some separation. And so you could have uh, two in parallel and then these in series uh, or other ways, like these guys were kind of series this way. Anyway, they were just trying, they were trying different things out. So um, that's the way. That's the way th this has worked. I'm not quite sure what metal this is. Uh, it looks like it doesn't corrode, so uh, some type of stainless or a coated coated steel. But it's definitely steel. Uh, I get my uh, magnet out. Uh, no, it's stainless. Oh, it is stainless. Magnet doesn't stick to it. Interesting. Okay, so it's stainless. Sounds pretty expensive to me. <laughs> but then car manufacturers build expensive things, don't they? Anyway, so let me show you a final product. He said this is his favorite. And so this is the tail light assembly. He told me out of a Cadillac. I'm not sure which version Cadillac, but uh, uh, I, I don't know which direction it went either. If this was the top and the bottom or this or whatever went side, probably went top to bottom, something, something like that. And then there was a couple over here on the side, which is kind of cool. All right. So um, if you look on the back side, though, this will look familiar. Uh, this is that technology that they were working on. And you would 
make it flat and then just bend it up and then it would fit inside this thing. So you've got all these uh, LEDs all connected together with these uh, sheets of uh, stainless. Um, so let me, I found a couple points where I can light up, figured, it, figured out the magic. Uh, if I go here and here, I can light, it, light up this bottom part here. And if I go here and here, I can light up the top part. And if I go here and here, I can light up this little side thing. I'm not sure why it has, I guess, I guess the stoplight is, is mostly viewable from the rear then a little bit over on the corner. So you, you can see it from an angle. Anyway, um, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if these are still being used in cars, if they still do it this way or not. I don't see why not. It seems like a, seems like a valid way to do things. Anyway, I thought you'd be really interested in that, uh, out of a, uh, out of a Cadillac. And, uh, like I said, uh, LEDs you probably haven't seen before and probably can't buy. 